Good morning again. All right. The hope of the centuries. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly. Lamentations 3.26. The promise of Christ's coming has great hope for believers down through the centuries. Um, I've been a Christian a long time, and I remember even the 70s when the first scanners come out. They used to punch it in a little bit at a time. They didn't scan it. And we said, you know what? They're going to have the mark of the beast that's going to scan. And, like, and we couldn't fathom it. And then when we saw that, everybody's freaking out. Like, oh my gosh, it can happen. Um, but Charles Russ, this Wesley wrote 7,000 hymns. 7,000. 5,000 were about the coming of the Christ. Um, wow. So until that time, we have a, a world full of violence and hate and oh, just dangerous i mean you can't even i'm a wreck i used to drive my bike five miles down into town i used to be scared of my kids going around the block you just never know nowadays what a world we live in but someday heaven he will return our king with a shout it's awesome and we might go before that so you might get there ahead of all of this um i want overtime though all right the kingdom of this world has become the king of our Lord and his Christ and shall reign forever, Revelation 11, 15. Christ alone is the answer to the burdened hearts of the hopeless of our world. Um, so important. The hope for today, live in anticipation of the Messiah, com Messiah coming again. Know that any moment the king could make an appearance. Any moment. But on the other hand, not being a saddest, any moment... We could be gone and, and up with the Lord. So to be absent in the present, absent of the body means to be present with the Lord. So our hope is in Christ. Our hope is in Christ, the one that never changes. Which I said yesterday, He loves us. You just marinate, penetrate the Word of God into your thoughts, your soul, your spirit. Saturate, and I'm telling you what, that gets you through life. To get you through life. I'm sorry. There's no other way to say it. All right. Yesterday, call the dog carriage come off the chain. Well, today, call AT and T because I'm off the hook. Mm -mm -mm. I'm off the hook for the Lord. I'm telling you what. I'm stepping up. I'm stepping out. I'm blowing it up because this world needs the Lord. All right. So armor up to stand up to speak up to show up to blow it up. Bam. Thank you. God bless.